Hello everyone and welcome to another Fat Man Makes. So this video uh, was suggested to me by Demon Llama. He said that I didn't really have a full walkthrough for a backup and a restore of a Ponagachi. So we're going to quickly knock this one out. So we currently have Ponagachi plugged in through the USB. We're going to log into it as Pi at the IP address of 10.0.0.2. And we're typing in the password here it is the default Raspberry. Okay, so here we are on the Pi. Um, one thing I like to do is uh, shut down the service. So can just copy this here and we are going to stop that service and we'll get an error here because so because I wasn't running as root I need to sudo this and then let's just drop into root to make everything easier so sudo su all right so now we're running as root the first thing we're going to do is run a backup. And if you refer to the card that pops up here, um, I provided a backup script. So we're just going to call the correct one. And as you see now, it's backing up all the handshakes in the brain and it's done. All right, so if we do an ls-l here, we can see here's your backup file. Um, and again, there's multiple ways to, to pull this file off of the Pi. Um, if you refer to the card that you see popping up right now, I show you how to do it within Windows using the built-in SSH and SCP commands. Um, I am just going to use WinSCP today. All right, and here we are. So we can see the latest backup is dated here and we're just going to move this over to the backup folder that I have on my computer. All right, and that's it. Right now we have a complete backup of the existing Pi. Okay, so now we can do a shutdown. Now. All right, and once that shuts down, we'll pull out the SD card, and then we just need to do a new image. Select the image here, select the SD card, hit flash, and go get a cup of coffee. Once the imaging is complete, put the SD card back in your Ponagachi and boot it up. Okay, Ponagachi is uh, booted up. It did the key creation. And we can do a restart session here. All right, we log in and now we can see, look, the host name has changed. It's now Ponagachi, uh, which is the default image. So we're just gonna shut down the service. Let's do a sudo. Shut down the service. All right, so now nothing's running and we're running a brand new Ponagachi. Let's drop into to root, so sudo su. We can do an MV, MV root to root dash img and we can do an mv etsy ponagachi to an etsy ponagachi dash img enter all right so now if we go uh cd slash and then we can do an ls dash l and we can see here that we have no root, but we have a root dash IMG, which is good. 
And if we CD to Etsy and we do an LS-L, again, we can see we have a Ponagachi IMG, but no Ponagachi. All right, so at this point, um, we booted up to the stock image and we renamed the two folders that contain the Ponagachi information, the slash root and the slash Etsy slash Ponagachi. We renamed them to root dash image and Ponagachi dash image or IMG for short. So we're preserving them in case we need them in the future. Okay. I fired up WinSCP again and logged in. So we're connected to the Pi Home and we have our backup here. So let's just copy it over. All right. And once that's copied over, we need to make sure we're back to Home Pi. And if we do an LS. We can see here's the backup file. Okay, first thing we need to do is go back to the home directory pi. To restore the files from the backup, we need to use the tar command. So tar space dash x to extract vp zf and then we're going to specify the backup so that's rol hit tab to fill it in and then we need to specify the folder that's in the backup that we're restoring the full path without a leading slash so that's root and a space dash capital c space forward slash and hit enter we see that restores the whole root directory and then if we up arrow to recall that command we delete root in the second folder we want to restore again without the leading slash is etsy slash onagachi and then the space capital c space slash we hit enter and that restores the Etsy Ponagachi folder also. And if we do an ls-l here, we can see here's the Etsy folder and here's the root folder. So now that we have these restored to the Ponagachi, we just need to move them into the correct locations and we'll cover that next. Move them. So MV um slash home pi root to slash root enter and then we're going to just cd into etsy here and if we do an ls we have ponagachi so it's just easier to just move the folder we need so again we're going to do move slash home slash home slash pi etsy ponagachi to slash etsy slash ponagachi enter and if we go to cd slash which is root and we do an ls we should now see a root here and we can cd to slash root and we do another ls we can see we have our handshakes folder so do an ls change to handshakes and do an ls we can see that everything is there so if we see it at the ponagachi ls We can see our config is right here. So let's just take a look at that. Nano config .yaml. And we and right here we can see this is 
roll into Sheen, which was what we restored. So at this point, we just need to start Ponagachi. And you can do it however you want. Um, but basically, as soon as you start the Ponagachi service, and that's pretty much kind of why I did it this way, you can see it detected that the host name changed from Ponagachi to Roland Deshane, so that means it's rebooting and it's going to load the new config. So we'll just try to restart this session. And we log back in and we can see Roland Deshane is now listed and if Let's just open a browser here. Let's just pull that over. We can see. You can see here it has my pawn networks are correct. Uh, and at this point, you know, you should be restored back to where you left off. And if we take a look here, we can see we just need to clean up this Etsy file which is blank so um, Etsy uh, RM we don't really need that either so we can delete that and now we have nothing left if we take a look at the Etsy folder and do an ls-l both the Ponagachi that's running now and the old or the original image file in so we can see yeah I probably should have changed the ownership of the folder when I moved it so let's fix that just to make everything uniform. So if we stop the service and let's drop in a root. So sudo su. All right, and now we just need to change ownership on the Ponagachi folder. So that's a chone and we want to change ownership to root and colon and the group is root also. Um, we need to do a dash R here. So it's recursive and this is going to be Bonagachi. We hit enter. Is this a capital R? It is a capital R. Sorry. So now if we do an LS dash L, we can see Bonagachi is root and if we do an ls-l here again we're going to have the same issue with root so we need to change that chone dash capital r root colon root space root enter and if we do an ls again we can see Everything's listed as root now. So we should be good to go. And we can do a shutdown. Now. And that's it, our Ponagachi should be restored. Okay.